Breakfast on BBC Radio Shropshire. Now, it's the Folk Festival this weekend. And if you think back to last year, the Folk Festival made headlines because they said from, uh, from then onwards they wouldn't continue to book black-faced Morris sides. It's a bit of a controversial issue. Uh, the festival had been threatened with legal action for being racist. Well, at this year's festival, an artist has launched a new work, inviting thoughts on the black-faced tradition. Faye Claridge has been commissioned by Meadow Arts, and she's on the phone from the Folk Festival this morning. Faye, good morning. Good morning. Do you come from a Morris dancing family? I do. Um, My dad was a Morris dancer, and so I was at my first Folk Festival at one day old, actually. So it was very (laughs) much much part of my um, growing up life. Did any of your family black up? No, um, my dad was part of the Cotswold and Litchfield traditions, uh, which don't black up. Um, and, but that's part of why it's such a big issue here, because obviously Border Morris um, comes from this area of Hereford, Worcester and Shropshire. Um, and so many people that are involved in, in Border believe that the, the blackface part of the costume is part of its distinctiveness and part of what makes it very different to this particular area. Yes, I mean, one argument against the racism accusation was that the dancers weren't doing it in terms of, of, of skin colour. They were doing it to disguise themselves. That's right, and that's, that's the theory that I grew up with um, and that I always repeated to other people. Um, however, having looked into it much further now, that is only one version. Um, and Morris being what it is, full of mystery and you know, nobody quite knows where mm. the roots of these things come from, um, it could be that it comes from Moorish dancing from um, Morocco and that sort of area, uh, which would be, obviously, to do with race. It oh, so could... that's, that's where it could have got its name then, Moorish dancing? There are, there are some researchers that believe that, yeah. yeah. Um, it's very hard to evidence, but, yeah, it, it could be. And one of the other theories... Um, well, not exactly a theory, but one of the other pieces of evidence people point to is that there's very little in the way of description of Morris that includes blackface until it became popular because of the black and white minstrels, which, of course, was very racially oh, derogatory. Right. Yes. So it's, it's, really, it's a really tough one because it might be disguised. Certainly, blacking up was used as disguise. Um, and in fact, there was a 1723 black act that, that banned blacking up because of gangs and poachers exactly disguising themselves in that way, which obviously wasn't to do with race. Um, but there's a, there's a shadow, you know, a cast of doubt on sure. whether that is the yeah. reason. So what are you doing at the festival then? Well, I've set up um, what I'm calling the Village Green Screen, which is a recreation of a village green. So I've got a little post box, I've got a sort of parish council sign, I've got a bench, I've even got um, a sort of wino's bottle wrapped in a <laughs> paper bag <laughs> propped up against the bench and beautiful bunting and all of that. And what's really unusual about it is that the fake grass um, that makes up the village green rises up to make a green screen background. Right. Um, so I'm hoping to photograph as many dancers as possible showing how they're here doing alternatives to blackface, but very much looking at how um, the green screen suggests you could be in any context really because the more people I've spoken to doing this research I mean I've been all the way to Morocco New York all over doing this research um, and when and where it's appropriate is something that keeps coming up so the context the idea of a green screen seemed a really smart idea to kind of say well where where do you see this either in the past in the future Mm. where in the world what are you going to do with all of this Um, what with all the material I'm gathering Yeah, yeah Um, In the short term, um, I'm going to be talking at the Super Diversity Conference at the University of Birmingham um, next month. Um, Longer term, I'm hoping it's going to turn into an exhibition that might tour next year. We're just working on that with Meadow Arts at the moment. And people don't have to be at the festival to take part in this, do they? No, um, I'm on social media as well. and So there's a hashtag, Village Green Screen. Um, Also, if people are more Facebook savvy, the Meadow Arts, Facebook page is, is following this and is taking comments. But, I mean, even on site, people don't need to talk to me in person if it's a bit of a controversial issue and they'd rather not. That's, that's the point of having the post box here, is that they can post anonymous comments as well. I'm, I'm interested in hearing from all views on all sides because when something like this comes up, I think what's really important is that 
people feel listened to rather than told what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and rather than feeling under threat. I mean, everybody's got an opinion about it, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. And and I think feeling under threat is one of the things that does hold back change. Um, and it's it's not necessary, you know. Um, there are great examples, like locally, the Shropshire Bedlands, who still dance in disguise and still look, you know, threatening and mysterious and all the rest of those mm. wonderful things that we say. So but as you Morris. suggest, but, that but is part of the masks. mystery of it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But they, they switch to masks instead of right. the black face paint. Um, yeah. But it has a very similar effect. But I understand those that don't want to change are saying, well, why should we change? Because changing is a bit like admitting it's racist and we don't think it is. So it's a, it's a complicated one, but an interesting one and important, important at the moment with all these discussions around Brexit and fears around mass immigration it's it's important we feel secure in who we are and balanced in who our community can be good to talk to you Faye have a great weekend thank you thank you very much all the best to you bye 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 artist Faye Claridge at Shrewsbury's Folk Festival with her art project Village Green Screen and you can make a contribution on social media as well if you're not going hashtag Village Green Screen Vicky and Ryan on BBC Radio Shropshire